Hi everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you happen to be and whenever you happen to be watching this video, welcome to Skepsi. My name is Sean Fox and I'm a college professor. I've been teaching psychology now for many years and have taught classes online, through live video meetings and also face to face. Over the years, the one thing that I've noticed more and more is that the old kind of traditional way in which college students are being taught really isn't that effective. We live in an information age where everyone has access to a massive amount of information right at the tips of their fingers. Yet we expect students to go home, sit in a corner, open a textbook and read. Well, no wonder so many students have a difficult time with this. Now we can go on and on talking about how this shouldn't be the case, but as technology has evolved, so should the college experience. That's why I created Skepsi. You may be thinking this sounds like an odd name, but there's actually a lot of meaning behind it. The word Skepsi, spelled a little different with an I at the end, means thought in Greek. And this is actually how we get words in English like skeptical. Fair warning everybody, I tend to be a bit of a language geek. Since I am a psychology professor and the first few video series that will be done on Skepsi will be for psychology courses, I changed the ending to fit with that and made it Skepsi with a Y at the end. This channel was created to post videos that can be easily accessed by students and they're immediately relevant to any college course that you may be taking. While there may be a few videos that give a general overview of a whole chapter and may run around 20 or 30 minutes, most of the videos included are very short and cover in greater detail a more specific topic. This way, students get exactly the information they need when they need it, without having to cover material that may not be relevant to them. All videos are completely accessible and include both closed captioning and transcripts. I use visuals and present the information in a way that is both interesting and fun. I especially like using stories to show practical applications for the concepts that are being covered and make a point of talking about why it is important for a student to know the material covered. Now, you may ask yourself why a channel like this is important. Well, I gotta say, if you're thinking that, I definitely like your skeptical thinking. Let me tell you some of the ways using this channel will help give you the best advantage possible to doing well in your college courses. I'm going to dive right into the number one issue I see my students deal with, and that's time management. None of us ever have enough time to do all the things we need to do throughout the day. Now, I can't find a way to give you more time, but these videos do help give you a tremendous amount of flexibility in how you use the time you do have. What I mean is that by being able to watch these videos, you have more flexibility during those times of the day you do have. Imagine that instead of having to clear 30 minutes out of your schedule to pull out your textbook and study, you can just listen to a video while you commute to work or school or while working out at the gym or cleaning your house, any other routine task you do every single day. Make the most out of the times like these so that later in the day, you have the time to do the things you actually want to do. If you're anything like me, you'll also find that learning through videos rather than reading takes much less time because you don't have to focus as much. So 30 minutes watching a video may be equivalent to an hour of reading a book. This is because our brains are largely wired to listen to stories and watch things over reading. I mean, just think about it for a second. Our ancient ancestors going back a really, really long time were able to see, speak, and listen long before humanity ever developed the ability to read and write. Even as young kids, we have those abilities long before we learn how to read and write. We're just naturally programmed to have a stronger preference for learning information through watching and through listening. So why fight against this natural tendency? Now, I'm not saying reading isn't important. In fact, I'm also not saying you shouldn't read your textbooks. Often the information presented there is much more detailed. 
What I am saying is why not get the bulk of the information you learn in a way that is easier to understand by watching these videos? Then you can fill in the gaps in your understanding by reading the specific part of your textbook that you need to read. A lot of you may be thinking that watching these videos may not be needed because you can simply get the information from your professor. Well, sometimes that just isn't a good option either. We've all taken those classes in college before where it just is difficult to stay focused. Sometimes this can just be a professor that you don't click with or a topic that is hard to focus on for a long period. Maybe the professor just doesn't present the information in a way that helps you learn. Maybe you do have a really great professor, but you miss a class and you don't have any other way of getting access to the lecture. One of the benefits of this channel is that these videos can help you fill that void. Another great benefit of these videos is that they can help you with those online courses that tend to not have a lot of instructional guidance. In a lot of online courses, you may just be told to read the textbook and do assignments. I know personally from teaching online, a lot of students tell me other professors never post video lectures or anything else, and they tend to feel a little bit lost in those classes. A lot of students find this really difficult. Many students get so frustrated with these difficulties that they end up dropping the class or we're still leaving college altogether. Now, what if you're saying you have a great professor, you have access to all the materials you need, you have all the time in the world to study, and you love to read your textbook? Well, I'm pretty sure there aren't a lot of people out there that are still saying this is describing them, but even if it does, I have yet another benefit of Skepsi. Use the videos as a study guide to help you reinforce the things you've learned and help prepare for exams. I like to view this channel as being sort of like a Swiss army knife of information for college students. Use what you want, when you want, the way you want. The first few video series on Skepsi are going to focus on psychology topics, with the first video series covering topics for a general psychology or introductory psychology course. However, as the channel grows and I get more subscribers, I'm able to expand it to include all course topics for first and second year college students. That includes topics like history, biology, math, English comp, and even anatomy and physiology for all those folks out there looking to get into healthcare. I'm even going to be putting out some videos that are not part of coursework, but are meant to help students with some of the common problems that they face in college. Topics like procrastination, note-taking, test anxiety, and many, many more. If this all sounds good to you, I would love for you to be part of this journey with me, and I ask that you please subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching, everybody.